welcome back to my channel. I'm in Dallas with my squirrel girl I'm back girl. for my feature. <laughs> So I didn't end up getting to go to Dallas for New Year's Eve, but I'm here now. It's like in the middle of January. I used Caroline's Dyson this mm -hmm. morning. I feel it so looks good. good. <gasps> but I'm in Dallas this weekend, so I thought I would do a little vlog. Hopefully we'll go thrifting, but it'll probably be tomorrow. So today we're doing a little Botox situation. <laughs> Mallory's I'm, first time. I never it's got preventative. Botox you know, it's preventative. Yeah, it's it like helps. just like in here because I'm just like, you know, just a little. I can't believe you're telling all these people. I mean, why not? I'm we're being honest. Being honest. Then we're gonna go to brunch, and then we have like a full day. We're going to a big like club tonight. Yeah. Well, it's like a it's like a STK vibe or like yeah. Bagatelle, you know. Like we're getting all dressy, sure. and so I'm really excited. So I thought I would vlog it and hang out with my girls. I have my other college friends here. Molly just moved here, and then my friend Julia, who lives in Minnesota, is here too. So it's gonna be like such a fun weekend of like girl time, mm -hmm. and we're excited. So yay! Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Okay, so I just got Botox. <laughs> it didn't even hurt that bad, but it was just like a weird feeling. It's still like a needle, but yeah. I mean, I'll give you updates. Okay, so now we're going to get mimosas. <laughs> See, where are we going to? Brunch? Bistro 31. Bistro 31. In Highland Park Village, which is like the really bougie area of Dallas. Like, that's where you want to get married. Okay. Be a little bougie mom. Bougie, bougie. I'm trying to decide, like, should I go hat or no hat? But we're just waiting for our Uber. Yay! Off to brunchy. Brunch, brunch, brunch. <laughs> Jules is wearing my Charter Club ready to wear. I am the spokesperson for Charter Club now. <laughs> <laughs> Give a twirl. Yes, look at the look at the pearl buttons. So those are my favorite. I know. Alright, girls, cheers yeah. to the weekend. Yeah. Yay! The most Yes. Yay, I finally got my Chanel drink. Look at this. I've been thinking about this. I want to be in Mallory's Yes. This is my girl Maddie. These are our Dallas chickadees. Wait, it's not for Yes. We were all on the dance teams together, so it's very exciting to be able to visit. Yeah, little girl. I got two little personal. Yum. This is quite what I was expecting. <laughs> so cute. Finally. Yes. Yay. Yay. I got croissants, but these are like uh, mini. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. They're so cute. Oh. Yay. Hilton. It's Kathy Hilton would wear. I'm so annoyed my camera died, but we're at a little happy hour. My friends are making fun of me. Okay, so it is the evening hours. We are getting ready. <laughs> we waited like like what, three hours for this pasta? It was like dumb. I'm like annoyed. And now I'm kind of like, I don't even want it. Okay, so what I'm wearing tonight, we're going to Villa Azure. I'm a little drunk, so I sound a little out of it. Just let it happen. <laughs> um, I'm wearing this super cute like ostrich feather um, top. And then I'm just wearing these kind of leatherish pants from um, H&M and my cutie boots. So, yeah, this is my outfit. Good morning, so we went out last night. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but um, I changed my flight to like later tonight, so we're gonna go to lunch at Honor Bar, I think we're gonna try to, over in Highland Park Village, and then go thrifting. So I'm excited. I think we're gonna go to the Buffalo Exchange, so it'll be, it'll be a good time. Yay. Yay, Highland Park Village time. <laughs>
I actually like dream about moments like this. <laughs> Yum. I got a little Caesar. 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 Yeah. <laughs> And a chicken sandwich. Yum. It's such a beautiful day. Like. Hey now. This is what dream. Yes. I'm made of. Take a left turn. Okay, so we just got Brunchy and now we're gonna go to Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Wild Wing Exchange. <laughs> Molly, have you ever been thrifting before? No, I'm excited. It's gonna be great. I'm Molly's excited. so nice and excited. I'm being real. Now we're just gonna find me some good stuff. Literally, Caroline's gonna sit on the bench like a boyfriend <laughs> that like goes shopping with her. I like yes. respect my friend. Like I want you to do what makes you happy. But like personally, I think it's the most boring shit in the world. Caroline would rather like there's just racks of clothes and clothes and clothes. And I'm like, okay. I have the same clothes for years and years. I just same. wear the same shirt because. Who cares? Yeah, no, you're cares. very like classic. Like you're not like trendy. No, I know. you're like you're like this is what I want to wear. Like I was like, yeah, you have no style, but <laughs> I guess it's just like not my passion. You know, like I don't I don't care. No, you're just like I'll wear the same outfit any time. Like, ugly clothes. I just no. don't, like I don't really like. You're not like wow. I'm really into like the fur trend right now. No, no, I, I don't you would care. you would literally never wear like a trend. No, no, no. Like a fur collar. No, no, Imagine no, 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 no. collar. <laughs> but we're making her go because I want to go. Literally. <laughs> New in style. Boom, boom, boom. Honestly, that could be kind of cute. Okay. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. It's kind of cute. It has a lot of that. people in there. Wait, really? Ew. Yeah. It's, my it's very you, I think. It's kind of my, it's kind of my style. Yeah. It's giving classic with a little. With Sass. a little bit of scary. <laughs> <gasps> Cute. Here we are, a thrifting queen. We are joined by the lovely cat Purr. Oh, wow. wow. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings. We are at Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a little different here in Texas than the rest of the world. <laughs> Y'all want some wings? What do you think? I can't. Wow. It's, cool. it's a little different. It kind of looks like a clown. It gives me clown. <laughs> Nanny McPhee? <laughs> now that's different. Are you not asking for the chat? Boy, I think it looks great on you. Is this cute? Oh. It's like a swimsuit. So busy and like really hot in there. Yeah, no air conditioning. It's kind of weird, but I found some really really cute stuff. So I'm gonna head back to New York in a few hours, and then I will style up all my outfits, maybe a couple different ways. And yeah, it was actually really good. I love Buffalo Exchange. So okay, so the first thing I got is this Princess Polly tank top for fifteen dollars. It's so cute. I wish in the store I paid more attention. It is like, like I feel like you're gonna be able to see my panty lines in this and I prefer like the thong shaped ones just because of that reason. But it was like new with the tag on it and everything so I felt like it was pretty cute and I, I have so many 
bodysuits, but nothing at all in this bright orange. And I know orange is going to be huge this upcoming spring and summer season. So I'm really happy about this. But let me go try it on. And I'm going to put it on with these pink pants. And I think it'll look cute. All right, so here's it on. It fits really, really well uh, nicely in the chest area. Um, it's a little bit tight, but not too bad. I think it'll be nice to like stay on. I might wear sticky boobs with it instead of like a strapless bra. But I think it looks really, really cute with these pink pants I got last year. Around my birthday time from Macy's. And they're so fun and like cute. But they're a little staticky on me right now because it's winter. But they're really, really cute. And I just put on some pink shoes to go along with kind of the color blocking theme. And I added this pink bag that was thrifted as well. And overall, I think this is so cute. And I can totally see myself wearing it with like a jean short or something casual. But to dress up and go out, I wanted to try these combos together. Because I just, I love the pink and orange situation happening. And I felt like this would be like the perfect thing. I will say you can see my panty line. See? Which is like not the best. You know? But I might, you know, do it for the fit kind of thing. Oh no. See, I would probably want to do a sticky bra so this didn't happen all the time. But yeah, okay, that's the first thing that I got. And it ended up. It ended up pretty cute. I would give this a 10 out of 10. I'm glad I picked it up. Um, maybe I'll have to cut the back of it myself and make it into a thong. We'll see. You know, I always say I'm going to do all these things and I do none of them. So <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. And then up next, I found this Gianni Beanie blazer for $26.50, which is a little steep, but it comes with these feathers on the end, which I'm like really getting obsessed with the feather trend. And I had just recently bought a couple yards of it, and they were more expensive than the feathers here. So if I wanted to make my own blazer, it would have been more expensive. So I thought it was a good find, and I'm going to try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so now, okay, let's focus. So now that it's on, <laughs> it's a little bit of a weird shape. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's very fitted, which I wasn't expecting. I was definitely expecting something a little boxier. So it really fans out like when I lift. It's just, it's giving a little like, like costume. Like I could totally put on booty shorts and this would be a tap costume. Um, what do you guys think? Like, is this cute? I'm just, I put on my black Abercrombie and Fitch trousers and then this really, really simple top from Zara. I love getting basics from Zara. I mean, it's kind of cute when I pose like this, but this might be something to throw on my Poshmark just because it's a little, I don't know, like unflattering. Like, I look really large in the hips, but I'm very flat in the hips. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a bad thing, but I threw on my pink shoes still just for a little pop of color. And yeah, this is the whole outfit. Next thing I got is this. I don't even know. This might mean like a brand of some kind. It could be vintage. It could be from like China. I have no idea. I think it's made decently. So I really liked it. I love that the hook and eyes are here. I love these little balls. I love the tie. It's just so, so cute. And it reminded me a lot of Love Shack Fancy, which we had gone to earlier that week. And I was like, I would have, I swear I could see something like this in the store. So I really like it. It was $15. Okay, so the crochet top. Um, I got this little matching terry cloth set from Zara last summer. And it's so cute. It's a little bit shorter than I remember, but I wore it with a swimsuit like on vacation last year in florida and it was such a fun find so i do really like it and i think it's really cute with this but i will say the top is kind of falling off of me and i wish i could cinch it in here i feel like if this was a vintage find you would be able to cinch it in at the waist so that's what's telling me that maybe it isn't vintage um if you know that brand let me know it's really cute and i do really like it and i'm glad that i found it i'm just wearing these fun clogs that i got from zara as well don't look at my pale ass legs we don't need to talk about those yeah i really like it it's very fun and girly i think i could also wear this with a pair of jeans and like a ton of gold jewelry and just like frolic along the city i definitely could see that so also i could see myself wearing this at a beach with just a swimming suit you know easy little cover-up situation so yay okay on to the next the last thing i found was this really cute sort of tweed skirt i will say the um fabric is a bit thinner than i remembered it being but i think it'll be really nice in the summer i love 
the little button on here and it was $13.50, which is a decent price. I mean, it's not anything like super nice. Like the lining is thinner. Like it's just a little bit chintzy, but it's not like bad. Like I think I'll wear it a few times and probably throw it on my Poshmark, but I'm obsessed with these types of skirts. So I'll get some use out of it for sure. Okay, last but not least, I found this adorable skirt. It is really, really cute. It fits me perfectly around my waist and it's actually growing on me. Like who needs a thousand wool? plaid skirts like why not throw in just an easy i don't know what this fabric is just like a woven like a loosely woven situation this is probably a cheaper brand uh, it doesn't have a brand in it so probably something random but it's really cute actually and i love the way i'm wearing it with with this vesti type thing uh i got this from a sample sale at work this is charter club so definitely check out charter club it's probably currently super on sale at macy's if it is still on the website which it should probably be i will put it in the description um so cute and i think it looks really good i have just a turtleneck on underneath this is really old from aritzia i love the wilfred free brand because their knits stay well for so long like i've never had a hole in them the only reason i don't wear them is if i stain them because i wear them too much <laughs> So love them together. I think this would be great in the spring. For shoes, I just threw on these Tory Burch guys that I'm, I've had for so long. And I think this is really great for a spring outfit when it's, you know, early out of winter time and you're, and you're starting to think about not wearing a coat anymore. I mean, you couldn't wear this when it's like 80 degrees. So it's probably like a cool 55, 60 situation. <laughs> But yeah, this is the last outfit I found and I really, I really like it. I'm, I'm glad I did get it. It did catch my eye, so for a reason. But woo! That's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had such a good time in Dallas and like, oh my God, look at my Botox. It's really filled in or whatever. And I don't think it looks too figgy, but look when I raise my eyebrows now. But it looks so shiny and nice. I'm really glad I got it. And I had the best time with my besties from college. And we just had such a good time. So yeah, that was a fun trip. And I'm glad that my friends, I dragged them into that thrift store. But I'm glad we went. Um, even if for a little bit. It was really fun. And I found some good stuff for this video. And just life. And I just love shopping at thrift stores. Just because it's so sustainably good for the environment. And it's just a good thing to do all around. And like, especially places like Buffalo Exchange. Where they're not like you're digging through too many random clothes. It's pretty curated. I really enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday and um, my uploads are at random times. So make sure to turn on your notifications so you know exactly when I post a video. And I'm so glad you guys came along with me and yay. Okay, that's it. See you guys on Sunday. Bye.